Welcome back to Ebony Island. Uh, I went ahead and slept for a couple of nights to give this silage a chance to turn into silage. And now it is. It's fully fermented. So the first thing we're going to do is sell that. And then I want to get the rest of the equipment that we need to get our field replanted today. That is the main goal. Get that field replanted and then see it actually might be time to harvest the grass again because we slept for two nights. We may have one more night. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go ahead. Let's see where we can sell this silage. Silage. Uh, it looks like the biogas plant is paying the most right now. Let's see where that is. Yes, it is this big thing down here. Okay. So we'll go to the other side of the island. We are here. Take a right. And there must be a road down here somewhere. But yeah, looks like there's a trail right there, maybe. All right, I'm going to get this over there. I'll meet you there and we'll see how much we get. This map is honestly really very pretty. What I want to do is we can untag that. I need to turn on not you. I need to turn on zone marker so we can see where it unload. Oh, it is right where it put it. Okay. Imagine that. Uh, that should work there, right? Or is that just for digestate and stuff? I don't know. We're going to find out. I guess if it doesn't do it here, we'll try pushing them. Because I don't have a front loader. Do I have a front loader? I don't think we have a front loader. I think we discussed it and decided it wouldn't be necessary. So I don't have a front loader to dump them in that hopper over there. So let's hope that I can actually deliver them right here. That's an output. That's an output. Like, this looks like the input for digestate and stuff. But I don't necessarily see anything other than that hopper. I don't know. I wish I could unload, like, one. It's going to stink if this is not the right spot and i got to slide them all down there. All right, well, we're going to find out. Yeah, they're not doing anything. Crap. All right, now we got to figure out how to get them... From here to there. You know, we might do a little cheaty cheat this time. Do a little cheaty cheat just to... Oh, yeah. See, I just needed to get them near it, not in it. All right. Well, eat. Aha. This is going to take me a minute. I'm going to throw all these over there. I'll be right with you, and then we'll figure out what we got. Okay, so we're just going to pretend like I knew what I was doing and we delivered that properly. How much? That's not the right menu. How much money did we just make off that? Sold bail, 16772 That brings us to 31801 which I think should be plenty for what we need. Let's uh, get this equipment back to the shop, and then we'll go over what we need to buy and start buying stuff. I'll see you over there. Ooh, actually, hold on. Don't go nowhere yet. Let's see. Is that something up there? I just want to take a quick peek for uh, collectibles. I thought we saw... Oh, maybe it was lights. Oh, there's one. Haha, -ha, look at that. That worked out well. Collect. Uh, collect. Another 5,000 from that. Let's take a quick peek around. See if there's anything else sitting around. 
Not that I expect there to be two collectibles in the same spot, but you never know. If I was hiding collectibles, I might hide two near each other because then someone would find the first one and be like, oh, I found the collectible for this area. Is that a whole nother farm? It is. There's a decent amount of farms. This would be a good multiplayer map. So I think that makes like four or five farms. What do we got? So yeah, that's a farm. That's a farm, so that's two. There's our starting farm, so that's three. That's probably a farm there. Four, five, six. Potentially six decent farms. Yeah, like you could have you and all your friends playing on this same map. I don't see anything else. I think that was probably it. Just that one. So I will get back in the thing. We will head back to the shop. I wonder, can we walk up these or is it blocked? Oh, you can. I'll take a look up here. I don't see anything. All right. Back to the tractor, back to the shop. Head back, we'll buy some equipment. See you soon. Instead of running back and forth to the shop all day, I want to actually get that field planted. So we are going to set up deliveries. I'm going to turn off those indicators again because we don't need them right now. Um, and let's start buying equipment starting. Let's start buying equipment starting with the most, ex not the most expensive, the most important part, uh, the cedar. I decided that we were going to go with this one, and then I was looking at it closer, and being 5.2 meters wide, I'm not 100% sure I can fit that down the lanes. So we're going to go with this one. And I've never done a cedar that's connected directly to the tractor, so I want to try that. We're going to do this. It doesn't have the little toe thing, so this will be interesting. I don't know if I can add I guess I can't add it. We'd have to sell it and buy the other one if I don't like this, but we're going to buy it anyway. 14000 and then let me actually go back in there. How much can you hold? You can hold 22,050 liters or no 2,250 liters. Is that divided between seeds and fertilizer? I guess if we buy 2,000 liters of each. Uh, this is lime. Isn't this also two fertilizer? Oh yeah, the fertilizers, we got rid of it all. All right, let's, I think I gotta be over here. Yes, fertilizer. How much is 2,000? 3,520. Uh, what if we do 1,000? We'll do 1,000 liters of each and we'll just see what that gives us. So that's 1,000 liters of fertilizer. No, not you. And then... Where do we gotta go for this one? Yep, same off to the side. And then we'll do a thousand liters of seeds. And we'll see where that gets us as far as filling this thing. We'll, we'll use the white tractor. Any of these tractors should be fine for it. Just trying to use all the tractors in turn so none of them feel left out. This thing still feels sluggish. 
a little bit. Not like it was, though. Was that this one? Might have been the other one we were just using. All right. Let us... We'll fill with seeds first, because why not? Yeah, this thing's feeling funky. Like, I fixed it. I repaired it all the way, and now it feels goofy. Oh, is it because it's not... It shouldn't be because it's a manual. You get a little ship shock because of that, but it shouldn't not be running right. So that's 900 liters. So 1,000 liters was a good call on that one. And then do I got to switch... Yeah. And we could probably use another 200, 250 liters of fertilizer. What do we get near that? 200, 500. We'll go with 500. That way we got a little extra. And then finish filling that. Okay. Yeah. 1350 is what that fills at. So, we can park this right here for now. Uh, nope, don't hit the wall. Come on. Do I have a maintenance area? I don't think so. Maybe in the garage. No, that wouldn't be it. Alright, I'm gonna build a maintenance area quick so that we can I can see if we can adjust this. Uh I guess we'll build it right in front of the house. If we put it do 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 because if we go tools and then we get this guy thousand dollars. But if we bring it, come on, square up. There we go. We put it right there. That'll look semi-natural. Like it should be there, right? I'm actually surprised that little symbol is showing up because it usually doesn't. And then bloop. Perfect. Yeah, see? Nice and out of the way. But I want to see if we can change this from a manual to a different um, setup, because maybe that's what happened. Maybe when I did something, manual and power shift, active. First to an active, wait, hold on. Zero to change. What's the difference between Bursu and active? Oh, see, that would cost 30000 So we have that one, that one, that one, and then the rest. So let's go with that one. Nope, that one, which gives us another 61 horsepower. Is that what happened? Did I somehow mess that up? Oh, that must be what it has right now. Okay. So we have Versu. Let's go to active. We're going to lose 60 horsepower. But... That's all direct. Versu, active. I don't know what the difference between those is, but direct I can tell the difference. And that would cost us $30,000 to keep not even all the horsepower. All right, let's go to active. I want to just adjust that and see what difference it makes with the drivability. Yeah, see, I mean, you still get quite a bit of shift shock. There's so much lag. All right, so eventually that's an upgrade I want to do is to move this into uh, a different let's see which one would we want right now we're going to go back to this one because if we're going to have shift shock we might as well have the 60 extra horsepower but the 235 direct so we have the variable 
transmission in it. I think it's going to be, so that's, what was it, 30,000? Yeah. At some point we're going to spend 30,000 on this tractor. But that's no time soon. I'll just remember that it's a pain in the ass, and we'll use this one for hauling stuff back and forth as opposed to field work. So we can go park this one. Just because that, especially like if you're doing a lot of stopping and backing, that that shift lag really sucks. All right. What do you got in you? Yeah, see, this has direct drive. All right. So this will be a lot smoother for doing this. See, that's what happens. I, I plan a decent amount of stuff to do and then get distracted with all sorts of other stuff and it takes forever all right so now we have seventeen thousand eight hundred dollars or several other things i want to buy um i guess we could rent the lime spreader because we don't really need to buy it right yeah we don't need to buy that because that would be kind of expensive. But I do want to buy a weeder for four grand. And then I also want to buy, and I know it's not super necessary, but I want it anyway. Mulcher. We're gonna buy this knife roller, I think. Just because I want to use it. We're gonna buy that. That leaves us with six thousand. How much was the lime spreader? Do 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 where was that? There we go. Yeah, see that's not enough to buy this, but we can lease it for three hundred and eighty-two dollars. Uh, actually, let's do the extension and then they said 441. Because as of right now, we just have that one field to spread. So I guess I didn't need to hook this up. Let's park this out of the way for now. Park it here. And grab our spreader. Because we're going to do that first. Get that done. Get that returned. Oh, look, it matches our tractor. Very cute. Do we have a front weight? I think I'm going to need a weight. Do I have a weight? Do, 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 do. It does not appear so. Okay. Let's buy a weight real quick, too, while we're at it. We have 5,000... We could buy 1,000 is probably enough, yeah. A one ton weight. Yeah, I don't care about the color. All right, we're just going to buy that one. That way, when we fill this up, we can continue on our way instead of having that rear end drag us down. Lose all our steering. You know, I bet you could put that on the front. It would be a little weird, but it might work out. That's alright. Anyway, we're not doing that. What we're doing is... Do I have lime in here? Oh yeah, we have 5,000 liters. How much can that thing handle? Uh, 1200 Yeah, so we don't even need to buy it. You already have it. So we'll go ahead and refill with lime. Yeah, see, that worked out well. All right, I'm going to go spread lime on the one grass field that needs it. And then come back and almost get hit. All right, I'm going to do that. I'll be right back.
Okay, well, that didn't work at all. I wonder if it won't let us... I wonder... All right. If we were to mow this, would it let us spread lime? It's, we still have another growing stage. I didn't even think about that. I figured it would just let us do it. All right, so we're not going to worry about this field for the rest of the day. We'll figure this out. After next time we mow it, I'll try to spread lime again. Um, worst case scenario, we got to... We have to rent a cultivator or plow or something and reseed the whole thing and spread lime at that point. Which that'll be all right because if we rent an implement like that, then we'll be able to actually combine those two fields instead of having the two separate fields with a little native grass strip in between. Ooh. There we go. It's always coming out of that turn that I take the wrong side of the road. I don't know what it is. So next step, I'll put this lime spreader away. And uh, we'll grab that knife roller. Uh, we're gonna put you in here with the other spreader. You live here for right now until I give you back. No, oh, that's the wrong one. Oh my gosh. Hit the right buttons. Thank you. Uh, I don't know how much this knife really weighs, so we can just leave the weight on. It's not hurting anything. And I'm on the wrong side of it. Does it work this way, or is it only working if we're on? Well, that's a good question. We'll find out. Because this should give us the mulched state on that uh, wheat stubble. So let's go and make sure this works. I didn't just waste all of my money on all of the things. I don't think so. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, see, I think having this not be trailed and having it hooked right in, uh, not this one, but the cedar, will be a good thing because it'll make these corners easier. All right. Now, I should just have to lower you down, right? There shouldn't be any other... Lower roller. Yes, that's it. No turning on, no unfolding. It's either down and working, or it's up and it's not. Yeah, it looks like that's going to work. Yes. Given the purple mulched. So, I will mulch this, and I will see you after that.
Well, that is that field ready to be planted. I just had the idea. Since we own the field right across from here, why don't we make an opening right here? There's one there. Here, let's take this one out. Because then we can come straight across into this field when we need to use this field. Can I? I don't think I can plant those. That's okay. I also uh, did a loop around the outside just to clean up the headlands a little bit so they don't get super wild and overgrown. But that, this should make getting in and out of here a little easier. You know what, let me take out the next one too. Take out this one. And then go like this. I'm just gonna clean up right here. Yeah, I know cars, get out of the way. Go on. Clean up like that. Nope, up. There we go. And then I just want to do a quick little do 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 dirt. Yeah, I guess that'll be all right. Yeah. Get the idea what that is? Yeah, there we go. It looks all right. So, where are we going to put you? We'll stick you over here for now. That'll be fine. It'll be fine. I realize that I might not be able to plant today. We might have to sleep first. So let's look and see at our planting schedule. Oh no, yes, we can plant, we have to plant today. Today would be perfect. All right, because we're gonna do wheat again. So we wanted to see the difference in um, <clears throat> yield. The difference in yield if we actually get like full yield off this little field. I also want to see, I just want to verify. Okay, so it's mulched, and that's all it needs. We'll fertilize it right now when we're planting, and then we'll have to fertilize it next month too, and we'll also um, weed it next month. I guess we're going to plant and roll today. And then next time we can fertilize and weed. Let's see, how well do you work as a thing? Do I have to turn this one on? Turn on cedar, yes. Turn on cedar. Lower, that's it. Bloop. All right. Uh -huh. about as wide as the wheelbase on the tractor. I'll have to remember that. It's not as wide as the wheelbase on the cedar. It's as wide as the wheelbase on the tractor. So that'll help me with um, overlapping and stuff. So that should be doing a fertilizer. Yes. Good, good. That. Uh, oh, it's not going to show me because it was wheat already. Should be doing that though. Let's double check it. Wheat fertilized. Wheat not fertilized. Yes, but is it growing? Like, is that. That should be planted, right? Let me do another strip down and back, and we'll look at that. 
I just want to make sure that it's actually because it said that this was a direct drill but it doesn't look like it. it looks like all it's doing is fertilizing this one to strip down turn around we'll do a strip back that should be wide enough that it definitely shows up on the map you know what I mean it doesn't say growing when I look at it so I think even though the description said this was a direct drill yeah see our wheat has not gone down at all okay well that's another step that we need to do real quick before I waste all the fertilizer that's in this thing let's get a cultivator The description lied to me. How very dare you, sir. Our key right there. Let's get this weeder out of the way. We've only got 4,400. This may turn into a much longer day than I was anticipating. If we can't afford a cultivator we'll probably call that it for the day <clears throat> excuse me we'll probably call that it for the day and the next time mow and sell grass i guess see it would have been nice to keep the tether because we could have at least made it hay to sell uh what do we got do, 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 do. but let's not get ahead of ourselves i want a cultivator they're going to be expansive, but I should have a cheap one here somewhere. I know I have huge ones, but do I have cheap ones? Yeah, you're not bad. 3,500, we can afford you. Support, I don't care about that. Yeah, no, that's fine. 2.5, 2.8, 3.0. We can't afford that. What's the biggest one we can afford? Probably that one. 2.5. Yeah. 2.5. And then we're going to be out of money. Like, out of money. But that's okay. Because we will make money eventually. So let's buy this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the ticket. All right. So now I guess what we're going to do is we're going to cultivate and then seed. Cultivate and plant. Don't get hit. Okay. There we go. Does this? So it does have a create fields thing on it. All right, we're not going to do that though. All we're doing is cultivating. Let's just do. So I just want to make sure that that planter actually works before we go through this whole rigmarole. So I'm just going to do a strip up here, just like we did there. We're going to go down and back, and then I'm going to go grab that planter again, and then make sure that it's working on the cultivated ground, and that it's just that it's not actually a direct drill seeder, and not that it doesn't work at all. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense should be fine this should be all we need to do cultivate this ground and then we should be able to plant it but we've been fooled before i don't want to waste all the time doing this if it's not going to work testing is an important part of farming also knowing your tools is an important part of any job and the only way you know your tools is through experience and experimentation. Let's 
get this little tag. Here, we'll just bring this back there. That'll be fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright. Let's just whip you around. Do, do, do. We'll just set this right there. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Yeah, I like this uh, transmission much better than the manual. Also, it goes pitch every time you change. I don't know if that's the brakes or the transmission, but I like the little pitch. Now, let's try that one more time. Don't go, oh, we're gonna get hit. Ouch. Dang it. All of this traffic. Okay. Turn it on, lower it down. Yes, that looks much more like it's actually working. We're just gonna do the down and back. So it's a nice wide strip on the uh, on the map, and then we'll get out and look at it as well. Do 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 do. I like that it has wheels so that you're not dragging the whole thing through the dirt. Um, because if it didn't have wheels, you'd probably need more horsepower. But since it has the wheels to keep it at the right level and everything, it doesn't go too deep. It takes fewer horsepower because it's not dragging through the dirt too much. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Do do do. I'm just gonna turn this off. Park it right here in the corner. All right, now let's look at this. Yeah, see, wheat growing. Uh, one out of seven. So that looks much more proper. Let's go ahead. Yes. See, now we can see it. All right. I could have sworn that said it was a direct drill seeder. Additionally, the seeder offers, a possi offers the possibility to seed directly. Did I not? Nope. Did I not get the right... Does it need that extra step? I thought that was just aesthetics. But that, is that what gives it? That doesn't make any sense. I should just do it, right? Like I shouldn't have to do something else to get it to function properly. Let me hook back to that. There wasn't another... Select seed, unload, open cover, lower seeder, turn on seeder. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like there's anything else I needed to do to get that to do direct drill. No, go away. There we go. It just wasn't working. I don't know. If you know what step I missed, leave it in the comments. Let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Let's see. We've already been recording for an hour, so this is probably going to be a long episode. So I think now that we're situated, I'll call it there. We'll end the episode, and then we know next time we're going to cultivate and seed this one. And then probably harvest the other two and combine them and get that lime spread. Yeah. So, 
that'll be it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching me fumble around with trying to figure out what equipment we need. But we got her done in the end. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.